Ooh, a challenge! Get everything done before the tea gets cold. Finishing early is great, but how? How do you achieve this level of productivity? Allow me to elaborate. You know those times when you have a lot of things to do and very little time to tackle them? Well, today I'm going to share with you five productivity tips that can make this issue a lot better and a lot easier to solve. You see, productivity does not need to be about being busy the entire time. It's actually the complete opposite. Productivity should help you tackle things more easily and have more time to do the things that you actually love. So the first step I have for you is to prioritize your tasks. The reason for that is you will find that all your tasks are pretty equal in importance and so it makes it quite exhausting to keep moving from one task to the other without keeping in mind their importance and their urgency. Prioritizing each task means dividing them according to your needs and according to what is actually important and urgent. And the Eisenhower matrix does exactly that. The reason this is better than your normal or average to-do list is because when you divide it this way, you can easily move on from what is most important and most urgent in the first quarter, and then you move on to what is less important but very urgent, and then you go on to what is important but not as urgent and then you, you move on to the last thing which is usually not that important and not that urgent it could even include your wants and so the best thing about the eisenhower matrix is that it helps you tackle very large scale projects that need to be tackled in an orderly fashion as for tasks that are quite short and could be tackled very quickly i will be discussing that shortly the second tip i have for you is to use the pomodoro technique and what you need for that is uh, no, not a tomato, you need a timer. Basically what you're gonna do is to put on a timer for 25 minutes and then take a break for five minutes. And the reason this works really well is because the 25 minutes mean you are not distracted, you're completely focused on one task. If you can finish that task in 25 minutes, that's great, you can move on to something else in your next day session. But the best thing about Pomodoro Technique is that you know a break is coming and so you're less likely to reach out to your phone and leave the task you have at hand. Also, Pomodoro Technique completely validates the importance of having a break and so it gives you the chance to continue your work with more focus, with more efficiency and you will be much more likely to have great results without being fatigued. Also, you can play around with the ratio because as you can tell, five minutes are followed by a one minute break. So basically, you can play around with that ratio to see what suits you best. And there is another version of this called the Anime Doro. The Anime Doro technique was suggested by one of the YouTubers that I liked a lot. But basically what he said is to study for one hour instead and then follow that one hour study session with 20 minutes of an anime episode without an outro and an intro. And the reason this works great is because it's different and it gives you more time to do harder tasks that could take more time. And so once you're done with that task, you feel more refreshed and an anime episode is the perfect reward. You can do anything you want regarding the Pomodoro technique, but also you can try to uh, play around with the ratios, as I said, to suit your needs. The next step I have is the third tip and that is task batching. What I mean by this is to make sure that whenever you have a bunch of tasks that could be somewhat similar in what you're going to do, so let's say you have a lot of reading assignments, then you could link those reading assignments together, and then once you're done with all the reading assignments, you can move on to solving questions. And once again, this works onto anything. So it could be for drawing, it could be for editing, whenever you have similar things to do, do them all at once and then move on to another batch of similar tasks so that you reduce this fatigue 
that you can have from switching uh, tasks constantly and so it reduces the cognitive load and helps you become more refreshed as you move on from one task to the other. Okay, now we're on to our fourth tip which is to use the two minute rule. Remember earlier how I said the Eisenhower matrix works best for the bigger tasks? Well, actually, you can use the two-minute rule for tasks that are very simple and would not take much time. If you have a task like so, you're supposed to tackle this instantly. The faster you tackle two-minute rule uh, tasks, then the faster you're going to get your to-do list done, and it's going to severely shorten down your to-do list because you're no longer writing down tasks that don't take as much time as bigger tasks do. Examples of two-minute rule tasks could be things like filling up a water bottle, cleaning up your desk very quickly, uh, you could maybe fill up your bag for tomorrow. Having things like that prepared makes the uh, tackling the rest of your tasks a lot easier. And as I said, your to-do list will be much shorter because you're keeping in mind that smaller tasks are supposed to be tackled immediately instead of later on. Okay, for the fifth tip, which is the last tip I have for you today, it is to take breaks and rest. This is severely, severely underrated. A lot of people don't understand the importance of taking breaks. Taking breaks can really help you out in the long run. And while it sounds counterintuitive, it can actually make you more productive and give you more ideas if you're onto a creative project. So by all means, if you feel like you've been sitting down for too long or you've been too focused for a long amount of time, take a break, take a walk, maybe eat something or have a drink and then get back with a refreshed mind and with new eyes so that you can do better than before. Okay, to recap, plan your day, make sure you prioritize your tasks, use the Eisenhower matrix, use the Pomodoro technique, tackle smaller tasks as quickly as you can and remember to take breaks. So this is all I had for you today. I hope it comes in handy no matter what type of person you are, whether you're a student or a working employee or maybe just a creative, an artist or a creator that would like to see tips on how to become more productive, then I hope it helps you a lot. Please tell me in the comments which tip of these was your favorite and go and be productive. Bye!